Tim here with Mars Go Home, and today I'm going to do a little update on the whole halation tutorial. Now, if you haven't seen it a while back, I mean like a while back, I did a tutorial on halation, and I went over the what you know what the basics of halation is. And if you want a deeper dive into that, check out this video wherever it may appear on the screen. And if not, I'm going to do a quick little rundown over what halation is. Got it? Good. Now, let's move on into After Effects. Just jump right in. Now, I have this piece of footage here. This is with halation, and I have some bloom on it and some grain. This is with everything on it, and this is with everything not on it. On it, without. With, without. All this stuff is all native After Effects plugins, and I am going to show you how to do that right now. In the past, what we did for Halation was we duplicated the footage, we added a couple of plugins on there, and adjusted some settings. I made a preset, which is still available on my website if you want it. But one of the things I wanted to do was automate the process a little bit further. And that's when I created the Quick Halation script. This acts kind of like a Photoshop action. It just does all the steps for you and gets you to the point where you can just start being creative. And you can click this guy here and it'll bring up a little introduction and how to use it. But it's really simple. All you do is select your footage and click the button. And voila, we have Halation already set up on there. On this Halation control, we have a couple little parameters that you can mess with. Let's, you know, we can drop this down a little bit. This is the black point, and you can adjust this for your footage. And this would be the white point. Very similar to how we work with it the other way. And drop this down to six and see where this gets us. And we have our Halation on there. And it was that quick. Now you can spend more time with your friends. Let's take it one step further. Let's add some of that bloom. Now, a lot of people have mistaken bloom to be halation. And the way I perceive it is halation is what happens after the lens onto the screen and bloom is happening before it hits the film. That's kind of the way I look at it. You can put a pro mist filter on a lens and make things a little bit more bloomy. Is that the correct term? And, it, and to do that is extremely simple. You know, you just take your footage base layer and control D to duplicate it. And we're just going to turn off elation for now. And we are going to add a Luma key onto it. And we're just going to key out the dark areas. We're just going to crank this number up. Let's solo that. Let's crank this up. Uh, there it looks fine. Let's even it out to 200. And then we'll put on a Gaussian blur. Gaussian? Gaussian? Gaussian. And we're just going to blur the crap out of this. And this is one way of doing it. And now we have a little bit of bloom. Mix our halation in there. And look, we're starting to look almost professional. So that's pretty quick. You can dial all this stuff. Spend more time with it. However, I also have one that's called OK Bloomer. And it acts the same way. You select your footage. And now there's a couple little presets in here. Bring this over here. Couple little presets, little bloomer, bloomer, and nuclear. They're they're starting points, if you will. You can adjust them after the fact, however you want. With a night scene like this, I would actually just go to nuclear and then tone it down from there. Make sure our footage is selected. Hit the go bloom yourself. And here comes the bloom. Now we're gonna just slide this threshold layer up. We're gonna bring down the blur a little bit, and we have a strength. That just messes with the opacity. And there you go. That is OK Bloomer. And now, with two button clicks and a couple little switches to the dials, we have Halation and Bloom. Clear all this stuff out. Start from scratch. I also created the Filmic tool set, which has the quick Halation in there, has a Bloomer and some grain. All you have to do is click the little icon here, the little graphic. For the halation, halation is added. Uh, we can dial this in. That's a good start. We can select our footage again. Let's add bloomer on there and go bloom yourself. It's actually not a bad place for it to be. 
but we can also mess with it. Make it a little bit more maybe, bring down the blur. And I also added just a simple film grain on here. And if you click it, it adds an adjustment layer and just adds the add grain plugin onto it. And from here, it's all pretty much the same settings that comes out of the box. And you can mess with this all you want. And the strength is this dropping the opacity for the most part. And there you go. So I have this shot here that I've created a while ago in 3D. Another night shot. And if we want to add some halation onto it, let's go ahead and just add halation. That's straight out of the box. Boom. Drop this. Put this up to 30, maybe 6. And drop the opacity just a little bit. And there we go. We have some halation on there. Let's go ahead and add some bloom on it. Again, let's select our footage and bloom. And we'll adjust this again. We'll go a little crazy on this one. So now we have some bloom on there. And as you can see, it duplicates all the layers and adds all the plugins on there for you. And it renames the layers bloom here's the effects that are on there halation here's all the effects that are on this and here are the control layers now let's add some film grain there let's drop this down to 0.5 the size of it down just a little bit and then we can drop it down let's go to a different preset yeah, something like that and there you go halation got bloom and film grain all three of these will be available on my website, link in the description. And I want to thank everyone for checking this out. And if you find this helpful, go ahead and give it a like, a subscribe, comment. And if you end up using any of this stuff, tag me on Instagram or I'm not much on the, the Twitter or the X. Got plenty of those. I don't need another one. Ha! Stay cool. Stay rad. Stay creative. <laughs>